Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the airport with the most traffic and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called flights with three different columns, departure airport, arrival airport and flights count and the data type being integers for all these three columns. The combined columns departure airport and arrival airport is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates that there were flight counts number of flights that departed from the departure airport and arrived at the arrival airport. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the ID of the airport with the most traffic and how they are defining most traffic. The airport with the most traffic is the airport that has the largest total number of flights that either departed from or arrived at the airport. If there is more than one airport with the most traffic, report them all. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So four flights departed from uh, airport one and arrived at two right and five flights arrived at one and departed from two so in total from airport id one that is id equal to one right how many total flights four departed and five arrived so total nine for two four arrived five departed and five departed so 14 and Right. So for airport four, like there is only data for arriving. Right. So five. So the airport with most traffic was airport two. Right. 14 total flights. So, so the output should be airport ID equal to two. And that is what we need to do. OK. So to do this, what we should do is firstly, we should, you know, uh, try to get the data that how many departures were there from each of the airport IDs. Then we should try to get how many arrivals were there in from each of the IDs and then try to combine these two information under one hood, right? So let's start with it, right? So from this table called flights, right? If we group by the departure airport, right? And then return the departure airport, and sum the flights count, right? Sum the flights count and let's alias this as number, uh, like you can alias it as anything, like it does not matter. And let's alias this as, you know, airport ID because it really these are the IDs of the airport, right? So airport ID, um, and yeah, so like if I run this, what is this going to return? Like, obviously this is not going to be the correct answer, but like, I just want to show you. So for, from airport one, right, there were four departures, right? Four departures and from airport two, there were 10 departures, right? Similarly, what we can do is same concept. We can calculate the arrivals as well, right? So let me, you know, just copy this and paste it here. Right. So instead of grouping by departure airport, if we group by arrival airport and return the arrival airport, right, arrival airport, then it is also going to return the same thing. Right. So if we let's store this values in common table expression, right. So with CTE as uh, so this has information about from each of the airport IDs, how many num number of planes departed then this common table expression CTE2 has information about how many number of arrivals took place in each of these airport IDs. Then let's what do we need to do is we should combine this information, right? So let me combine this. So select everything from CTE. Let's union this with select star from ct2 right so basically what i'm doing is from one let's say for air departure uh, departure airport one there were four flights departed so this comes from cte departure airports and from two one like on uh, airport id one how many there were arrivals five right so which comes from this and i'm combining this two information because why after i combine and have this in one table 
right i can then again group by the airport ids to see what is the total right so departures plus arrivals so that is my logic here so let me run again run this right obviously not going to be the uh, correct answer but just to you know demonstrate so, uh, so now you see right so 1 4 2 10 2 4 uh, and then comes 1 5 4 5 right so 1 5 basically is from 1 fly flights were arrived right from 2 4 comes from this and 4 5 comes from this right and these three last three values are coming from ct2 right okay so once we have this what we can do is we can even go ahead and store this in another common table expression cte3 as because we are going to need it for the next uh, logic so once we have this that in a common table expression called ct3 we have from each of the airports how many flights departed as well as how many flights arrived so to calculate the traffic at each of the airports what we can do is from this common table expression 3 let's group by right so let's group by the airport id right so airport ids uh, we are grouping by and return the airport id and the sum of number right remember here we are creating columns with uh, column names number and number right so ct3 when we do select star so select star means uh, all the columns from ct ct has two columns right airport id and number similarly ct2 has two columns airport id and number so when we do select star star so remember if we are basically having ct3 has two columns called airport id and number and we are calculating the total sum right so let me run this and see what the result we are getting okay so now we are getting so from one there are total nine flights as we calculated from 2 14 and from 4 5 right now from this we know that from each of the airport ids what is the total traffic and now we need to rip, uh, report the uh, airport id with the maximum number of tra traffic right so this thing can also be stored in another common table expression right so cte4 as this thing now from this once we had the have the uh, you know for each of the airport ids what is the total traffic then from this table cte4 keep only those rows where the uh, and let's you know alias this sum as total traffic or traffic like whatever where uh, some uh, number as traffic where traffic value we need to only keep the maximum one right is equal to the max value right so obviously to do this we, we need to calculate the max from this common table expression for so return max of traffic from ct Four. so this is going this entire thing is going to return us okay so from this common table expression what was the maximum traffic and only keep those rows where the traffic is equal to this because you see uh, here it says if there is more than one airport with the most traffic report them all so this will take care of that that any row where there is a you know tie between the maximum number of traffic so it will keep all those rows and once we have that then we need to return the airport ids in that case right so return airport id and order of the result doesn't matter let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again seems kind of lengthy seems kind of tricky but actually if you follow the logic uh, and follow the maths it is not that difficult all you had to do was you know combine the information so here in this table uh, too much of data is given just by using three columns 
what we are doing is basically trying to find it okay so from each of these airports what is the total traffic so we group by departure airports find how many uh, flights departed group by arrival airport find how many flights departed then we add those add those information together and based on them then we calculate the total traffic from each of the airports and then only keep those rows where the traffic was maximum so yeah, this is how we do it let me know guys if there's any other solution you can think of or a better solution or you can do this in you know less number of common table expressions do comment the solution down below and until then i will see you guys in the next video